This is a little tip for any artists that do both digital and traditional artwork. If you have a favorite color set in your preferred medium, you can use tools in Procreate to translate those colors into a digital swatch sheet that you can use for your digital art. All that you need to do is take a picture of the set that you're interested in using, upload that into Procreate, and then use the color select tool to select each color that you're interested in using in your digital art. After that, I like to go in and actually make a digital swatch sheet, which is what you're seeing here. You don't really need to do that, but you do need to have a page where you can save your colors if need be. To take this a step further, you can also use the color select tool to create a color palette in Procreate that you can use with your digital art. That's what I did for this Maya gouache set. I separated them into warm and cool colors, and that pretty much filled up two different palettes that I can use with the colors that I have in real life. One cool thing about this palette section is that if you switch from compact to cards, it will tell you the general family that those colors come from. So if you ever want to use that color in real life and you need to go find it at a store, you know where approximately to look and find it in the different colors. Doing this can take some of the guesswork out of deciding what colors you want to use in your art pieces. And having a digital palette that coincides with your real world palette can make your digital and traditional artwork look more cohesive with each other. It's also just generally helpful if you plan on making a digital sketch that you later want to turn into a physical painting or drawing. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if you're interested in seeing any more tips or tutorials from me, you can go to the playlist section and click Art Tips and Discussions or Art Tutorials. That's all for now, I will see you next time, bye!